Hi, in this video I will be demonstrating how to deploy a VMware Tanzu Kubernetes grid management cluster in a VMware vSphere environment. Before proceeding, please make sure you have Bootstrap server deployed and configured with the required perquisite. Log into the Bootstrap server and validate the TKG CLI version. In this demonstration I have configured TKG CLI version 1.1. With CLI version 1.1 you can deploy a Kubernetes cluster of 1.17.3 and 1.18.2. Open up another terminal session on your workstation and run the following command to use SSH port forwarding so we can connect to the TKG UI from your local workstation. Let's SSH to the bootstrap server and type in the command TKG init UI. Let's open in another terminal window and SSH to bootstrap server with port forwarding on port 8080 so we can connect to the TKG UI from your local workstation. Open internet browser and type in 127.0.0.1 along with port number 8080 in the address bar. Click on deploy on sphere. Type in the FQDN or IP address of the vCenter server along with username and password and click on connect. As of now TKG cluster is only supported on vSphere 6.7 U3. As this is a lab environment, I have deployed TKG cluster on vSphere 7.0. Choose the data center where you want to deploy the management cluster and copy the public key we have generated earlier. Click on next to proceed. Choose the appropriate deployment type dev or prod. In case of dev, there will be one control VM deployed for master and one for worker. In case of production there will be three master and three worker nodes deployed. Choose API server load balancer template to be used. Choose the configuration for the control plane node VMs depending on the expected CPU, memory, and storage consumption of the workloads that it will run. Type in the management cluster name you want to use or it will be auto-generated at the time of deployment. Click next to continue. Choose the VM folder and select the data store you want to host the management cluster. Select the host or the cluster. Click next to proceed. Select a vSphere network to use as the Kubernetes service network. Enter a different CIDR range to use for the Kubernetes services. In this lab I will be using the default CIDR range. Click on next. In the OS image section, use the drop-down menu to select the OS image template to use for deploying Tanzu Kubernetes grid VMs and click next. Click Review Configuration to see the details of the management cluster that you have configured. Click on Deploy Management Cluster. Wait for the time you get a confirmation for the successful deployment of TKG Management Cluster. Deployment of the management cluster can take several minutes. The first run of TKG and it takes longer than subsequent runs because it has to pull the required Docker images into the image store on your bootstrap environment. Subsequent runs do not require this step. Let's validate if the TKG management cluster get deployed successfully. In vCenter we can see three VMs get created for management cluster. As the TKG management cluster VMs get the IP address from corporate DHCP server. Mark the allocated IPs as reserved in DHCP server. Hope you would have liked the video. Please do share and subscribe if you find worth sharing it. Happy learning!